Hey guys, as promised, this video is your archetypes that you hate. We're taking the top 10 from archetypes that you hate video and the top 10 comments from archetypes that you love video <laughs> and smash them all together. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell and check all the links down below in the description. We're an Amazon affiliate now, so go check out that link and we'll see you at the end of the video. My alignment is my personality, drives me up the wall. That's not playing a character. That's purely playing an archetype, typically to a stupid extent. I have no issue with someone who tries their damnedest to do everything in a lawful manner. But going, I'm lawful, therefore I am the law, is just obnoxious and boring. Likewise with chaotic equals lol random, evil equals for the evil lulls, <laughs> and good equals hippie killjoy. You can be a good person without being omnibenevolent to every single being. You can reject authority without being a complete lunatic. Alignment is a tool to imply certain tendencies, not a hard rule to be followed 24 seven. I actually think that's why so many people hate the alignment chart. Yeah. So many people take it so literally yeah. all the fucking time. Yeah. You know, it can really kill you sometimes though, you know. Ugh, oh, but this is what my character would do. <laughs> Be gay, do crimes, bards and rogues, usually tieflings. Usually their players are hypocrites that say anyone should be allowed in the game, but are very vocal about wanting people kept out for not playing how they think it should be, while also trying to make the whole hobby into political propaganda. Oh, oh. no. I.e., oh. i.e., if you prefer combat and conflict over roleplay and hijinks, then you don't deserve to play D&D. &D. Oh, like, A enjoy. sentiment I've seen treated as gospel with multiple people re-uploading variations of the same comic saying the same thing in a D&D &D Facebook page. Uh, don't, what the no, fuck? Uh, look, I'm not going get get to get I'm, off I'm, the page. I'm not going to get into D&D &D Facebook pages oh. but um, I don't mean to say that they're horrible or they're the worst or whatever but um, no. yeah I'm just going to I'm just, <laughs> just I, I, look, I just don't agree with them okay yeah. but I knew you hadn't actually have a Facebook group so I do, so if you're sick of normal D&D &D <laughs> Facebook groups, come on over. It's going to get deleted within a week or so. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's definitely going to get yeah. deleted, but no, keep going with us. And the orcs and goblins are racist stereotype. And if you don't agree, it's because you are a racist card. Racist. 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 <laughs> also, diplomancers. Combat Mary Sue characters tend to get shut down pretty quickly when dice and rolls show them they aren't the centre of everything. Yeah, it's actually really nice yeah. when that happens. Diplomancers can very easily make the world revolve around them as true Mary Sues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I've never thought about them like that before, but one of you mentions that he is bang on. Yeah. And honest to God, see his comment about Teethlins, I do believe it's the player base that has destroyed Teethlins. Yeah. The Teethlins kind of... I like that concept and the idea of them. But it's the people who play them. Yeah, I'm really, I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I do know, I can understand. Not, not throwing that out. I'm not, not, I'm not, not like, saying I'm, I'm not, I'm not, all, that all you boys out there who play Teethlins are, are like... Eh, no. But, but I'm sorry to say, but there's the a... The high majority of them. There's, a, there's a, quite the there's quite the number of players that... Uh, yeah, I just don't agree with on a fundamental level. Yes. <laughs> Let's keep going, will we? In the end... It all boils down to how the player portrays the player character and whether they want to take it seriously. I mean, I personally have no problem with a player who wants to play a race that was raised by another, so long as they come up with a logical, sensible and valid reason for why that is the case. So, let me just put in there, so just don't be a furry, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool when other people do it, but furries have learned the troop for yeah. everyone. For example, in one of the campaigns I play, I portray a high elf barbarian he was raised by Goliaths since he was just a boy after they rescued him from danger and for the most part most folks like him as a character. While some things listed here don't sound like they should be allowed in a game, the fact is that any concept can be good or bad depending on who the player is and how they are like. In the end, it all boils down to the player you allow in your campaigns, rather than the characters they play. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I think we really talked about that in the other video, the uh, one about uh, archetypes you love. Yeah. Because a lot of people were bringing up ones that, like, you know, on the surface level, it's like, you could see them. They, they just, a lot of the time when people play them, 
they fuck it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the mercenary that's only in for the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, it, it does get ruined a lot of the time by players, and I think that's thrown a lot of people off playing those sorts of players because they have seen... Them. So many of them. So many, and so many of them done wrong. That it kind of sours the waters almost. Yeah. But I definitely do agree with anything can be good as long as it's done well. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. really what it boils down to. Yeah. Just do the fucking job well. Yeah. You know what I mean? And also it depends on me. If you want to play a meme, just play a fucking meme. meme. I play a meme most of the time, so I, yeah. I got no gag to stand on when it, yeah. when it comes to like serious gameplay at all. I, I fuck about it all the time, so I got no gags to stand on. One, the characters that have absolutely no personality traits other than something like, I'm a gay trans person that uh. does crimes, and are in the group just for le funny shenanigans, or gay shipping. Such characters are controlled by people that preach inclusiveness and diversity, but actually want home... home Ethno-state. They want an ethno-state. And their preferred way of playing is the new norm of D&D. I don't really want to get too much into this one because that's a video all in itself. Let's be serious. I'm the type of person who... You know, if you play a game of D&D, you want to immerse yourself in the game and you have to take yourself away from reality for a couple of fucking hours. Not have people put politics within your game yeah like, no just, no just, bitch let me fucking play as an elf let me fuck shit up and, and don't bring that I, shit in the and definitely definitely i do buy into the idea of they want their way of playing to be the new norm yeah that is most yeah. definitely a thing and you see it all the time yeah. you see it all the yeah. time i see it specifically in that's said Facebook this is groups. another video yeah well, well yeah yeah definitely leave that there if you want to talk more about it leave it in the comments yeah two the proverbial I look like a prepubescent girl, but I'm actually a centuries-old dragon disguised as an 8-10 to year old girl. Character. <sighs> 3. Chaotic stupids that insist on wrecking the entire game through zany shenanigans that usually involve doing something to get the party in deep trouble with local authorities without any good reason at all. Yeah. I don't, I don't actually, I don't, I don't. Mm. It, well, it depends, it, it depends on what on, kind of game you're playing. Uh, like, is it like super serious, or is that oh, that's just fuck shit up. That's just have a like, fun game. You know, it, 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 the problem not is not that it, it, serious it can, games aren't fun. Serious games can be fun, but yeah. if you just want to take a bite, to take a bite right. in a game. But no, see when you end up in jail and we have half the fucking session, and you have to yeah. wait entire to next week just because someone yeah. decided to just be like. <laughs> that's most. Of it. That's not like, you oh, who does that shit. Though. I don't do that, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I'm like, I will not have. I will not be held accountable for any of my actions. Okay. <laughs> for any of my <laughs> actions. <laughs> right. Next one. Next one. Last campaign I was in before it dissolved. There was a minimaxing barbarian that would bring his laptop to the table and constantly interrupt the DM ugh, with shitty nine <laughs> gag things. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nine gag. Honestly, honestly, you know what the worst thing is? Nine gag isn't even that good of a meme. It's no, it's got nothing on iFunny. Like iFunny. iFunny. I, I, funny, I, I funny, so, like, so see, funny. see if you go in for like shit tier memes. iFunny is beast and yeah. told as fuck. I literally have never heard him speak in character. And all his actions were like, I sharpen axe, I buy new axe, I upgrade axe, I masturbate on the axe. <laughs> but then again, I was playing a slutty bard at that point, so I guess I'm a sinner too. Yes, you fucking are. Yes, yes. You, you burn at the stake for your sins. <laughs> but yeah, the, yeah, honestly, uh, nine gag. For any guys that don't know, because I don't think Nine Gag's been a thing for a good oh, few years. Oh, dear, people know Nine Gag. Oh, do you Fuck know? Yeah. <laughs> people know about Nine Gag. Yeah, all right. Characters I absolutely hate. Characters that randomly pull out cigarettes or joints in medieval fantasy settings <laughs> or just make smoking as one of their entire character's <laughs> major character traits. Look, I will not have that be bashed, okay? <laughs> so, Snake was cool. Mel, you're solid. <laughs> it was cool when he did it, okay? Another would have to be characters who unironically claim to be good and righteous, or just anti-edgy, but end up being god-awful, non-self-aware, evil people, or just overall cringy people. Those types are legit the worst. Yeah, I can really see that. It's a lawful stupid that comes out, and then, you know, it can be done funny. Like, you know, when it comes to, like, judge, it's like, I am the law. You know (laughs) what I mean? If you meme it up, like, fuck, you know what I mean? But, like, I think some, I think people are just too scared to do it in case they got called out as being, eh, you edgy boy, yeah, you know what I mean? But once again, I think that depends on what you're playing with. It depends, again, it's, yeah, yeah. It all depends on who they are, where you're playing, how you get on with all the people. Yeah, honestly, it is really what it comes down to, I think, with these. The one-trick pony. 
this is the character who is either defined by either being really good at one particular ability in game or one particular quirk they came up with. For example, the paladin that is only good at maximizing their damage and smites. Yeah, but that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I really like doing that, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> they can't do anything else outside of smiting. Or the character whose quirk is, I'm a monk who uses nunchucks, but immediately gives up on it after the second session. And now their character is forgotten or the player gets bored with them. The forced team leader. Through some way of character background, rolling better stats, or the player being more talkative than the rest, this character asserts themselves into the party leader role. They will boss the other characters around, either because I'm a noble so you have to listen. Oh, no. <laughs> or I once led soldiers so you should let me lead. Remember when Clockwork did that? Don't even want to talk about no, that, be honest no. with you. Or some other excuse. I've only ever seen this work once, and that was because it was a veteran player just helping people new to the 4th edition D&D. The LOL so random wild magic literally looks for any excuse to cause random mischief through their wild magic or other means. These characters tend to be chaotic stupid and heavily rely on the way the wind blows to decide if they want to help the party, buff the big bad evil guy, randomly cuddle a tree or shoot the barbarian in the foot. Usually they will also be searching for any magical items to add more chaos, like the deck of many things. Honestly, don't... The, the yeah, deck look, of many things pretty... I quite like it though. I do like... It's a good way to just like, if you're going to end a campaign and you don't really know how to, you just yeah. end it like that. Like, deck of many things, if you don't want it, don't let... Don't just... Don't fucking put it in your game. No, don't just don't put it, put it in your game. game. It's, it's, it's a guaranteed way to just fuck yourself up. <laughs> yeah. you know? The amnesia character. You know what this is. You know who plays it. This is the cop-out character for people who don't want to make a backstory and their character is just as lazy as the player. Every single one I've seen always follows the same route. Their character is a bland, emotionless wallflower. The only characteristics they have is that often NPC red shirt with some more health. Usually once something cool happens, the character suddenly develops some actual characteristics. Unfortunately, they then either turn into that one trick pony, or somehow develop amnesia again and forget everything in the next session. The mundane hoarder. I will admit I have done this, and have no excuses for it. This is the character that is usually a money pincher and tries to be clever with everything in the equipment list. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's nice to do that, though. Honestly, it's kind of cool. Yeah. I like doing that, you know. See, whenever you actually have something, it's like, oh, I can use this. Fuck yeah. you. Mm. Remember you that know? stick I picked up? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Honestly, yeah. But it, it is fun when yeah. you get find Oh, it's like, yes, I got a yes for this, finally. I've been carrying it for fucking years. <laughs> Their character will have a backpack full of every mundane item. From multiple books to the point where they just have a general store on their back. The character is played as being slightly paranoid and taking the advice of be prepared to such an extent that if they don't start with a bag of holding, prepare for a three page write up of how the party gear is distributed. In the end, they will forget about the three quarters of what's in their backpack. This character slowly turns from a well stocked adventure into a fantasy auditor. Right, okay, that's us done with the hate comments. Let's move on to the love. <laughs> what I enjoy the most is characters that are actually passionate about the things they do, no matter what it is. I see so many characters that are like, I steal because I grew up on the streets and it's my only way to live. Or, I carry my sword in honour of my fallen master. Nah, fuck that shit. Give me someone who does shit because they actually enjoy it. Give me that bard that cares about nothing more than rocking the taverns and the bits <laughs> and does all of that with a smile on his face. Give me the brawler style monk who likes to do backflips and other overly dramatic shit as he pummels the crap out of some bandits. Give me the cook who makes sure your party's bellies stay full. Give me characters who actually have fun while they're adventuring, not just brooding fuckboys. Exactly. You know, you know what that really reminds me of? You know what that really does for me? 
You know the way people say, like, oh, if you're going to get a tattoo, you need to get something that's meaningful. Nah, get something that actually looks cool, yeah, right? Get something just just get something good. that actually looks fucking cool, right? And that's the exact same mentality yeah. there. I think people just don't like but to admit we, it. we touched on, like, with the last ones, like we said, like, it doesn't matter what you're playing as long as you play it well. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, yeah. and if you play, like, yeah, if you play a bard, as long as you play the bard well, if you play a cook, as long, like, Buddy Flames <laughs> Buddy is Flames is funny cook. as fuck, so he is. Well, he's more, he's a warlock cleric, but, like, you know. He's fucking cook. <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking chef. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, he's, he's an excellent example of just, like, an idea of, like, what could be a mundane, board. well, actually, you, you can't call him boring, because he's, he's bringing flavour time to the boys. Yeah. Like, but you guys don't even know who Buddy Flames is, let's go on to the Buddy next Flames. one. <laughs> The common folk who find their way into adventuring. The town guard, bored by his everyday life, leaving his post to seek the thrill of adventure. The farm boy, trying to impress the girl he likes by trying to become a great warrior. The common criminal that got a change of heart over an act of kindness. A young woman whose love for the mysterious young man made her a servant to the whimsical archfey he was. You get the picture? Yeah, yeah, just I common get it. folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always fun. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I think a lot of people always do on to. Oh, I want to be a noble. That's why, I want to be. That's why most stories. Like, people start love an off. underdog. People love it's an not, underdog. It's not even an underdog. An underdog. That's how most stories start off. Like, even look at um, look at Lord of the Rings, for yeah, example. Yeah, actually, look at like, a, yeah. Sam and Frodo. Yeah. And no, they were just normal hobbits living yeah. a normal little life, and then. This happened, yeah, you know. It's it's, it's uh, what what the every what the common person can do, yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a good one. I like that. I once played a game with a friend who played as Adam, the Adam, the first man God ever created. He was quite literally a bag of old skin and bones, and the party members had to carry or wheel him around, but have the knowledge to uproot any problem we faced. Once we faced some big bad bandit trying to kill us. But Adam sat up in his chair and scolded the man and recounted how his mother and father would be ashamed of his actions. The DM ended the section after figuring out he allowed a character who can rewrite anyone's history. Oh, that's very that's good. Really good. I like that, actually. It's like, I don't like you, you know what I'm doing, and I kill myself, yeah. and then nobody's allowed. Yeah, but I've never thought about that idea before. I've never no. done that. Actually, it's like, like it's can, quite I, interesting, can, can, can I actually just play it as an actual little person? You know, like, can I just, like, recreate them? It's like, I know, I know a lot of people aren't into, like, you know, cross-universe yeah. stuff and all that. It'd be quite interesting to take because, you know, looking at looking at the Bible, some of the things can be quite whimsical. Yeah. Like, how Moses parted the Red yeah. Sea and stuff like that. You can nearly put Moses down as being a wizard. Yeah, you, you know, could. can you not take those Or would he be characters? a sorcerer? I think, I, I, but, I'd say Moses is more of a sorcerer. Or is he a them. warlock, actually? He could be a good workout. Yeah, but you could take that and put that in D and D. Yeah, seven. you could. You it, could if, if you really wanted. To, you know, this is what, what was that not like a thing in like the nineties? They were all saying, "Oh, uh, D and D's the stuff of like the devil." Remember they tried to say that about Harry Potter and all. And they said it about Pokemon as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Remember when that was like a big Fuck thing? Off. Why did they not be like, "All right, you you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have like a D and D setting, setting fucking like biblical fucking yeah. Egypt and shit." Yeah. You know that, that actually, I would actually be pretty up for that, even though I'm not a religious person. I'm at not all. religious, but. I I think it would be quite a good it would be an interesting setting to try mm. and pick you know religious figures yeah, and I'm, put them into certain so, categories yeah I think you could do a lot with yeah. that I'm, I'm actually really interested in that idea I wanted to hear more about that yeah. to be honest with you hey guys so I hope you enjoyed that one um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, we also have a new Facebook page, which will be taken down within one week. It's guaranteed to go down. We're going to get zocked. So. <laughs> uh, check out the group. It's more of just a pure shit posting yeah, page at the moment. Yeah, check out the links down uh, below. But check if you want like a decent, like an actual decent, like D and D focused um, group. group on just, Facebook that, that just isn't shit like, posts. Most yeah, of the time. I've got goals. Come on over. I've, got, I've got goals. I'm not the only goal is um, try not to be a dickhead within reason, and that's about yeah. it. Yeah. After that, I really couldn't care less yeah. what you guys get up to. Just don't fucking... Just try not you to know. get the piece banned, even though it's it, it's going to get banned. Yeah, all right? but check the links down below. All the all that good stuff. The models, the Amazon link, everything else. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All those moments.